Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. As you guys can see by the title down there, I am playing with the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palettes volume 2 and I am so excited for you guys to see this video as you guys can see this is the look that I came up with I kind of took inspiration from a girl that I saw on TikTok my obsession right now uh, but yeah I really like how it came out I'll let you guys at the end of the video or the tutorial part uh, kind of like my thoughts on the palette before I get started please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there and if you want to know how I got this look and my thoughts on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette then just keep on watching I picked up the Jack and Hill and Morphe collab volume 2 and I'm so excited. I really like the packaging. Um, it's kind of similar to the one, the volume 1. Um, and I went to the Morphe store and they actually had a lot left. Uh, I really thought that they were going to sell out pretty quick. Tomorrow is going to be a week that this palette actually launched and it never like, it never sold out. So it came with a little bubble wrap. So I do have my volume one right here. Um, this was, the packaging was kind of like matte and mine is extremely dirty, <laughs> like really, really dirty. And yeah, this is like volume one. Um, I haven't seen it inside, so I don't know if it actually has the names of the actual shades. Um, but this is like, I had to print out the picture that was on the Morphe store or the Morphe website and I printed it and kind of like pasted it like right here so that I could know the um, the names of the palette or the shades so when I'm filming for example um, this is very I want to say different because this has way more uh, lo like neutral colors when it comes to like the overall like um, color story of this palette as you guys can see it has like your pop of colors right here but overall it's kind of like more of a like neutral palette this is um, a glossy finish to the packaging so I'm guessing like it's not gonna get as dirty let me just open it for the first time um wow the colors are really pretty <laughs> so it comes with a little plastic thingy it does have the names of the shades underneath each eyeshadow which I am really glad they did that it says to all my loving subscribers who supported me all these years this is for you volume 2 XO Jaclyn Hill this is the palette as you guys can see, way more like bright colors. You can definitely see it has its neutrals up here, but overall it has like your pops of color and more purple, more mauvey shades, more berry shades, which I'm really excited for. So I want to kind of show you guys in like side by side of each palette. These are kind of like the two palettes. And I mean, I see a couple of shades that they look similar, of course. But I feel like the new one, the neutral shades, they have more of a pinkish undertone, peachy undertone to them. I don't see a lot of similarities between the two. I already have my eyelids primed and I just used my e.l.f. Um, 16 hour cameo concealer. I'm going to take the first shade and this is uh, called Not My Journey, which is this purple right here. And I'm going to be grabbing that and... Just placing that all, of, all over my crease. First impression with this specific shade, it's extremely pigmented as you guys can see. I'm literally just touching the pan and like the pigment is there. I'm slowly bringing this upward with that same brush. And I didn't even tell you, this is a Morphe E36. I'm gonna go in now with the shade uh, Tipsy Girl, which is this super hot pink right here. And I'm gonna grab that same E36. And I'm not changing the, the brush. And I'm gonna start adding that to like really close to that. And now that I'm trying to blend that pink right here, I can definitely see a little bit of patchiness right here when I'm trying to blend. The purple is getting a little bit patchy. Okay, so now I'm going to take a Morphe 506, M506, and I'm going to go in with the shade um, Feeling Myself, which is this orange right here. And I'm going to be taking that and start blending it after that pink. Okay. 
Okay, so I just cleaned my E36 and I'm gonna go in with that feeling orange feeling myself orange shade and I'm gonna start blending that after the pink. Now this one's a little bit more like patchy. I'm actually not liking how this is like blending. It's like extremely patchy. So I'm gonna go in again with the um, Not To My Journey, which is the purple one, and I'm gonna place a little bit more on my crease. I'm gonna take another Fabulous Six and go in again with that Tipsy Pink Girl. Tipsy Girl, which is the pink one. And I'm gonna blend this on top which this is what I tried with the other brush but it was getting so it was getting extremely patchy and I'm just using circular motions I'm not putting a lot of pressure in that pink but I definitely see a little bit of patchiness right here And then I'm going to take another 506 and I'm going to go in with the um, orange one, which is filling myself. Like on camera, it looks really patchy, but like here, it doesn't look as patchy. So I don't know, I have no idea what's up with that. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Tipsy Girl, which is a pink one, and I'm gonna try to blend that into the orange. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab another 506 and I'm gonna go in with the shade No Joke, which is a super bright, super bright yellow, this one right here. And I'm gonna grab that and kind of like blend that orange onto my brow bone. See, it looks like on camera, it looks so patchy. And on like, in real life, it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna try and move on because I'm gonna get even more frustrated. So I'm gonna put um, a little bit of black right here and blend it upward because I am gonna be cutting the crease. So to add the black, I'm gonna take in Morphe M506 and this is the shade Temptress, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna be taking that. And I'm just gonna take a little bit and just right in my crease. I'm gonna go and do this eye and off camera and then I'll be right back so that we can cut our crease and we'll see how that goes from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I know that it looks kind of crazy, but um We'll get there. <laughs> I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to use my um, 16, 16, <laughs> my 16 hour cameo concealer from e.l.f. Oh, this is backwards. From e.l.f. And I'm going to be using my um, Morphe M421 um, pencil or pencil brush, which is my favorite to cut my crease. And I usually just, if you guys haven't seen, I uploaded a like how I cut my crease with like hooded eyes and I'll link it up here. Okay. 
and this is where you kind of like need to see and kind of like try to match this eye to this eye and see kind of like what level you actually like cut the crease I kind of like put my eyebrows up and because I do have hooded eyes that helps me kind of like see how far up I went uh, blend my edges right here and I'm gonna take a Morphe E18 and with the, sh uh, with the purple not my journey I'm gonna blend this right here okay so I'm gonna take the shade certified which is this one right here it's just a cream shade and I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to um, put it at the beginning of my crease just to kind of like settle that purpleness right there. And now I'm going to grab the shade Therapy Sesh, which is this one right here. Oh, I'm going to grab this one right here and blend that cream shade with the purple shade we put at the end and i'm literally just grabbing a little bit of product and just wet pressure motions to the side very light motion so far we'll see <laughs> now i'm going to be taking my peaches makeup and um pigment in the shade or um in print and I'm going to mix it with some of the pigment drops so that I can make a liner. And I want to put that right here and kind of like emphasize that cut crease. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do my face. And then I'm going to come back and finish the rest of my face and put the lashes. And this look is going to be complete. I am... So far, I'm liking it. I did get a little frustrated, you know, but yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes. I'm wearing the Tati Lashes in style TL1 and they're like so fluffy. So I'm going to work on my lower lash line and I think what I'm going to do is I want to bring back that orange and yellow kind of like from the outside because I feel like the purple, it's like on your face. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to start off by adding a little bit of Tipsy Girl, which is the hot pink shade. And I'm going to add that really, really close to my um, lower lash line. And where did I... Oh. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a bit. So I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. Like really, really close. Now I'm going to take the shade um, Feel Myself. This one right here, which is the orange one. And I'm going to blend that below the pink. And I'm going to take another M506. I want to find the one I was using the yellow with. And I'm going to take now the shade, the yellow shade, which is called No Joke. This one, this one right here. I'm going to be taking the color um, I'm In It, which is this one right here. Overall thoughts on the palette. I really like the colors. Uh, they're really, really bright. They're so, so pretty. I enjoyed kind of like having this really bright eye look. Um, I have lipstick on my lips. Um, I really like how it came out at the end. It's just, as you guys saw, I had a little bit of trouble like blending that purple. Oh my God. And still at the end, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to go past it because I was getting really, really frustrated. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to keep going and try to like make it work. At the end, it looks really, really pretty. I like how... The, like all the colors look it's just that I had a little bit of trouble blending and I think I just need to like work a little bit more and kind of play with it uh, with it a little bit more and kind of like I want to play with these rounds right here they look really pretty um, it's a really nice palette um, like I said in the beginning the colors don't really 
I didn't see a lot of like similarities between the colors from volume one to volume two um, I just feel like those the two palettes are very very unique and I just like that both palettes you know like have like together you can either do a really bright look or a very neutral look so I mean the I would definitely travel with these I, it's not like I travel a lot but like they're come like they're really like com compact um, they're kind of like big like large but like itself well, they're kind of thin they would be easy to travel with so those are my overall thoughts I can't wait to keep playing with the palette if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there as always all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all my social media and until then I'll see you guys in my next video bye